Hey guys, Rumbling Man here. Delamo's new D1 Chubby Comp compressor pedal is actually based off of the MXR Dynacomp compressor pedal, but it costs a fraction of the price, retailing at only around 27 bucks or so from eBay. Tell me though, is it worth getting? Does it pack the same punch? Does it have a good sound? And is it worth it for you? Well, we're going to address these concerns in today's video. So make sure you stick with me. Let's take a listen. So guys, welcome to the Rumbling Man channel today. This is a guitar and bass channel uh, where we look at guitars, basses, related gear, equipment, tutorials, all of the above. So if you're a guitar player or bass player, or even better like myself, both, then feel free to hit the subscribe button and give me the thumbs up if you enjoy content like this. Okay, so in this video series, uh, we're taking a look at Delamo pedals. They came on the scene pretty recently. They are very inexpensive yet they seem to sound pretty darn good. And I like that. I think that's pretty cool, okay? So the MXR Dynacomp, that's a great pedal. A lot of people use it, but it's very simple controls with only two knobs. You know, me personally, if I'm gonna use a compressor pedal, I like three or four knobs. I like to adjust, you know, threshold, ratio, attack, gain. But this, like the MXR, kind of rolls it all into two. You have a level knob, so that's gonna kind of be the gain. That's gonna kind of be uh, ultimately volume and gain. Um, and then you're gonna have the comp knob, which just kind of rolls all the factors of compression together. Uh, and the more you turn it, the more compressed it gets. You know, all the way this way, you might get a big squeeze kind of sound. All the way this way, you just might get, you know, a little bitty bit of compression sound. And then up here, you kind of get a blend between the two. But what I want to do is give you some demos. Let me tell you just real quick um, a few instances in which I will use a compressor pedal. So first, let's talk about bass. Um, for one thing with bass, um, you know, I, I, as a guitar player too, I've had bass players before who had really uh, inconsistent technique. And so I always put a compressor pedal on them because it kept the sound more consistent. It keeps, uh, you know, the sound of each individual note, depending on how you set it more consistent, you know, more consistent volume and gain. You know, if somebody's got really inconsistent style of playing, it just kind of levels it all out really nicely. Okay. Um, for guitar, a couple different reasons I might use one is number one, like for, uh, for like a Strat sound, sometimes I'll put it early in my chain just to get some cool, uh, it really kind of fattens up some nice uh, Strat kind of tones. And then another thing I'll do is I'll also often uh, put a compressor pedal later in my chain after a number of effects. Reason being to try to keep the gain of all of it level. You know, if you're dealing with different distortion pedals, different overdrives, but you don't want your volume, your overall gain to vary, sometimes a compressor pedal, you know, toward the middle or end of your chain can really help with that, I've found. So let's hear kind of a Strat tone. What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna plug on my Lakeland 65S Strat guitar, and I'm gonna play for a second with this thing off, and then I'm gonna turn it on, and we're just gonna go through the different uh, levels of compression on guitar. Uh, we'll even adjust the level knob a few times and just see what kind of different guitar compression sounds you can get with this thing. And we'll check out bass in just a little bit, all right? Let's hear it. Mm -hmm. 
One scenario in which I would use a compressor pedal for bass guitar is if I'm playing with a pick. Because whereas if you're pick playing, sometimes your strokes can vary, a compressor can kind of level it out and beef it up all at the same time. I'll show you real quick what I mean. I'll play the bass real quick, you know, with a pick, and I'll play without the compressor, and then I'll play with the compressor, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to play bass with my fingers and just roll through the different uh, compression settings just so you can see the different sounds that this can give you playing the bass guitar. Let's check it out. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
guys, I hope today's video was in some way helpful to you. If you got value out of this content, hit the thumbs up button, okay? If you wanna go in and order your Delamo D1 Chubby Comp pedal for around 27 bucks, I've got a link in the description of this video that'll take you right to the page where you can order yours, okay? And also, if you wanna stay on my playlist of Delamo pedals, we're gonna look at um, a number of Delamo pedals and already have. And so you can see a link above me right now to the playlist and I'll also have it on the, on the end screen, but it's my playlist of simply Delamo pedal reviews and Delamo pedal sound demos. So make sure you stick with me here on the Rumbling Man channel, okay? If you wanna chat compression and compressor pedals, then let's do so in the comments below. I would love to hear uh, your experiences and your opinions as well, okay? So God bless you guys. Thanks so much for chilling with me here on the Rumbling Man channel today. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace out.